Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is the first example on Ampere's uh, law. We have a long solid cylindrical wire of radius uh, 2 centimeters, carries a uniform current of 1.9 Ampere. Find the magnetic field strength at a distance of 1 centimeter from the center of the wire. Meaning that, how much is the magnetic field inside, inside the wire, not outside the wire. Okay, so let me uh, draw the problem for you, this is the wire, okay? And it has a radius of, uh, let me call this capital R, this is the radius, and we want to know the magnetic field at this smaller distance, I call it small r, okay? Capital R is uh, two centimeters, while small r is one, centimeter okay let us assume that the current is moving this way so this is the current and it is a uniform uh, current so we can think of j which is the current density it is i over uh, the cross-sectional area so it will be i divided by pi capital r square because the whole current is distributed uh, uniformly over the uh, cross-sectional area okay um, here we are, we would like to apply Ampere's law to find how much is the uh, magnetic field at one centimeter from uh, the center of the cylindrical uh, wire, okay? Uh, so Ampere's law says the following, close integral of B dot DS, this is the Amperian loop, equals mu zero multiplied by I enclosed okay so the magnetic field uh, at this amperian uh, loop is uniform because of the uh, symmetry of the problem so we can take it out of the integral okay and there is a dot product between b and d s okay so let me <coughs> uh, choose my uh, 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 direction su such that this uh, dot product will give us uh, uh, positive, so B will take it out of the integral, and integral of DS will give me the uh, length of this, or the circumference of this circle, which is 2 pi small, uh, small r equals mu zero, and we know mu zero, it is just a constant 4 pi 10 to the minus uh, 7, okay, 4 pi, times 10 to the minus 7. I enclosed, how much is the current moving uh, through this uh, Amperian loop only? We know that the total current is I and it passes through the whole surface, okay? So to know I enclosed, I enclosed can be written as J multiplied by the small, the small area, okay? the small area enclosed, okay? Area enclosed. How much is the area enclosed by this Amberian, uh, Amberian loop? Uh, of course, this will be uh, I over pi r squared, and the area enclosed is nothing but pi small r squared, okay? I hope you are uh, following. So J, which is the current density, is the current divided by the whole cross-sectional area, which is by capital R square. This is the enclosed area by this Amperian loop, which is by a small r square, okay? <coughs> so I can take this and uh, uh, put it here. So this will be I divided by pi capital R square multiplied by pi small r square. So pi will cancel with that pi, okay? And that square will cancel with this uh, uh, r, and this pi will cancel with that pi, this two, uh, and you'll have remaining two there. So b, as a result, will be two times 10 to the minus seven. Uh, I, which is the current, it is given here to be one point 1.9 amperes multiplied by r. You see this is small r, which is one centimeter. 
So it is 1 times 10 to the minus 2. Don't forget to convert everything to the SI units. Divided by capital R square. What capital R is 2 centimeter. So it is 2 times 10 to the minus 2. Don't forget the square. Okay? Uh, if you do these calculations uh, correctly, you will find that B equals... <coughs> B equals uh, 9.5 times 10 to the minus 6 Tesla or 9.5 micro micro Tesla. Okay, this is the answer. But let me highlight the result which we got here. B, let me write it for uh, you. I write it clearly. B inside be inside the wire can be written as uh, 2 times 10 to the minus uh, 7 multiplied by i divided by r square all multiplied by r where r uh, telling us how far we are from the uh, from the center okay so if r is equal to 0 exactly at the center of uh, the cylindrical wire, the magnetic field will be equal to zero, okay? So as we move away from the center, okay, what will happen to the magnetic field? It will increase, increase, increase until it reaches the maximum value at, at the surface, okay? Of course, when we get out of the surface and move away from the wire, what will happen to the magnetic field? It will start, it will start uh, decreasing. Thank you. Uh, this is the second example on Ampere's law. The value of the line integral, which is the left-hand side of uh, Ampere's law, around the closed path in the figure, so this is the path, um, is 1.4, 10 to the minus 5 tesla meter. What are the magnitude and direction of I3? Uh, okay, let me write Ampere's law. Ampere's law, this is the left-hand side, B dot ds the right hand side is mu zero multiplied by i enclosed okay so the left hand side b dot ds <coughs> is given to us to be 1.4 10 to the minus 5 okay so this is 1.4 times 10 to the minus 5 tesla meter okay. equals mu zero i enclosed so this is the amperian loop which we have okay and i enclosed is i2 and i3 so i4 will not be included i1 also will not be included because they are not enclosed within our within our loop okay uh, so i enclosed here we have i2 which is coming out of the uh, page or the plane and i3 which we don't know so we need to define which one is positive, which one is negative. This can be determined using the right-hand rule. Right-hand rule, you have to move your fingers with the current. So the current is moving this way. You see, this is the current. So your fingers with the current. The thumb will tell you the direction uh, of the positive current. Okay? So uh, any current inside into the page, this will be positive. Meaning that this current, which is I2 coming out, will be, will be negative, okay? So this will be mu0 multiplied by uh, I2 plus I plus I3. But I2, I plug its value with, with a minus, okay? Why with a minus? Because of the right-hand rule. Let me repeat it again. We need to determine which direction is positive, which direction is negative. Uh, this will be determined using the right-hand rule. Put your fingers with the current, okay? Uh, not the current. I move it with the uh, uh, direction uh, given for the Amperian loop, okay? There, uh, there is no current here. This is just a path to take the integral, and you put your fingers with the direction of this path, the chosen direction, okay? In this case, the thumb will be N. So this is the positive direction. N word is a positive direction. So this current, which is outward, will be, will be negative. So this will be mu zero multiplied by minus eight amperes plus i plus i three 
this is equal to 1.4 10 to the minus 10 to the minus 5 okay so I can take this mu 0 and put it here divided by mu 0 and we can get I3 I3 equals 1.4 10 to the minus 5 divided by mu 0 which is 4 by 10 to the minus uh, uh, 7 all plus all plus 8 okay so I3 will turn out to be uh, positive and its magnitude is 19.1 ampere it is positive okay so positive meaning that it will be n to the page so it is positive meaning that it is into the page into the page because it is it is positive and the positive direction in this case is into the page your fingers with the uh, amperian uh, path direction the thumb will give you the positive direction so this current is positive meaning that it is into into the page thank you this is the third example on Ampere's law. We have cylindrical infinitely long wire has a radius of 4 millimeters. What current will produce a maximum magnetic field of 0.5 milli uh, Tesla? Let me uh, draw the situation. So this is the wire and it has a radius of uh, 4 millimeters. So this capital R is 4 millimeters and uh, he's asking about the current how much current is passing through okay equals how much in order to have a maximum magnetic field of 0.5 millitesla so b max i want to ask you uh, my son where we can get the maximum magnetic field in this situation okay we have seen uh, uh, in the discussion of this chapter that at the center of the wire exactly the magnetic field will be zero as we move away what will happen to the magnetic field magnetic field will increase increase until we reach the surface okay um, if we get out of the wire and move away from the wire the magnetic field will start decreasing so b maximum is achieved at the surface of the wire okay this is very important uh, uh, concept and we can answer uh, the question uh, easily if we know this uh, concept let us apply Ampere's law Ampere's law says b dot ds equals mu zero i enclosed okay uh, b dot ds Okay, I take a, B out of the integral, we, we are at uh, the surface, and my Amperian loop will be exactly at uh, the surface. And I'll choose, I'll choose the direction of this path, so DS will be in this uh, direction, because the magnetic field will be uh, curling in the same direction, so the dot product will give me a positive, so multiplied by DS in this case will be 2 pi r which is the circumference of uh, the circle equals mu 0 multiplied by i enclosed but what is i enclosed if i am exactly at the surface it will be the whole current which is the total the total i he is asking uh, asking about so this current uh, will be okay this is b max which is uh, given here so i will be um, b multiplied by 2 by r divided by mu 0 let us plug in uh, the numbers b which is the maximum b here 0.5 times 10 to the minus 3 multiplied by 2 pi uh, the radius is given in millimeters so don't forget to convert it to meters for 10 to the minus uh, 3 all divided by mu zero which is a uh, constant 4 pi 10 to the minus uh, 7 if you do these calculations you will get the current to be 10 amperes 10 amperes thank you